right, guys, so here we are with our last product from Polaroid that I wanted to share with you. Absolutely, and uh, so this is the, it's not the world's first Android camera, it is the world's first interchangeable lens Android camera. So what we have here is, it's about five years ago, interchangeable lens cameras were, were basically the purview of a, a professional photographer, somebody who understood how sensitive that sensor was. Um, the, the, the consumer for these types of Polaroid cameras is sort of the, the mom who's looking to take a step up into a you know a little bit more functional camera, or a dad who's looking for something fun to show off on the weekends. Um, so as the prices of interchangeable lens cameras came down, consumers came up and they could get them, but you know they would take the lenses off and they would just put that camera in their pocket or their bag, and that basically destroys the lens and destroys the camera. Right. Again, pro consumers they they're not too familiar on how to keep that that sensor safe. Absolutely. We keep it completely self-contained within the lens, so it protects the, protects the consumer from the sensor and vice versa. It also lets a little bit of less light in, and uh, and 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 basically allows for you know you to be a little bit more rugged with your uh, with your sensor, as it were. But um, the first question that everybody has then is how many lenses are you going to have? When the camera comes out in the second quarter of this year, we're going to have three lenses available: a pancake, uh, a 10 to 30, which will actually come shipping with the camera, and then a telephoto lens. So that sounds great, but then everybody says, well, when will there be more lenses available? And my answer to that is actually instantly, because we're going to have adapter rings that will embed a sensor within the adapter, which will allow us to take um, uh, like a K-mount lens, so you can take Pentax or Tamron and stuff along that line. So what that gives the consumer is the ability to have the, the full functionality of those lenses, but with the Android back on it. So you have the ability to share instantly and do all of that. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing for photographers like us is, can we use our lenses. You know, I, that's beginning to be a little more trending now. Yes. It, it wasn't in the past people were like, well, why would you use your lens on a smaller camera? Well, the convenience of carrying something smaller, but also that packs up a big punch. 18 megapixels, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. It's an 18 megapixel camera, which is great. But again, if you've, all, if you've gone out and bought lenses, or there's a lot of secondhand lenses out yeah. there available, yeah. you know, you want to get something, you want to have some fun with, the, you know, with your yeah, photography, yeah, sure. you want to have it. So, you know, here's the ability to do it. I say, yeah, the more lenses, the better, right? That's what I think. I'm going to ask one more question. What is the price point and availability of this? Uh, $349. That will ship with the 10 millimeter to 30 millimeter lens and uh, it should be available mid second quarter of 2013. Uh, also, uh, any plans on making maybe prime lenses for this instead of variable? You know, uh, focal length. Sure, there's you know, there's definitely that's all on the table at this point in time. Our main goal right now is to get these first three out, and more importantly, get the adapter rings out. Uh, but I would say, you know, go to polaroid.com, and you, you know, we'll be keeping everybody abreast up there. Awesome. Hey, I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jason and Polaroid, for uh, entertaining me. I feel entertained by you. <laughs> you know, if only everybody else was just as fun uh, to talk to. You know, but anyways, thanks a lot, Jason. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. thank you, guys.